Today, I want to talk a little bit about cybersecurity and some of the things that have been happening in the news recently that may impact it. I'm DJ Ware, and this is the Cyber Gizmo. So let's get started. So let's start with the top of the news kind of stories. So, but to do that, if you if you've been living under a rock for the last couple of months and don't know what's going on, OpenAI a couple of months ago had a big, <laughs> a big dramatic event occurring where Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, was fired for a little bit and then rehired back. But that turmoil was over something called QSTAR. QSTAR is thought to be able to provide the necessary algorithmic framework to support artificial general intelligence, or AGI. AGI is the ability for AI to respond to events without having to be pre-trained to do it. It learns as it goes. It mimics human behaviors on how to learn and how to apply reasoning or rationale to choices that it makes. There's a lot of videos on the subject. If you're interested in those, I'll put a link to some of them below where you can go and explore that. I'm I'm not going to take all that time. It's already been pretty well discussed. But there was a a week ago, uh, Elon Musk filed a lawsuit against OpenAI because part of his funding requirements were OpenAI would stop short of generating anything that would lead to artificial general intelligence. So, but anyway, that is a hot topic right now. There's significant impacts for, you know, the cybersecurity that we have around us. So, I, you know, at this point, all we can do is speculate on what might happen. But if these rumors are true, and... And I, maybe it's rumor is the is not the quite the quite the right thing. During an interview, while Sam, Sam Altman was uh, in his fired state that he made, he admitted to Q Star being in existence, but he was reluctant to talk about any of its capability. So the implications here are. If open general, if if artificial general intelligence becomes something widely available, that changes the landscape on everything we do. Uh, now we have to deal with AI that can learn about us, it can understand our our and and even anticipate what it we it thinks that we might do. Yeah, we'll deal with the doom and gloom at the end of this, but let's just talk a little bit about. What are the some, you know, this is always a double-edged sword, right? Technologies are always used for good and bad. That has been the history of every major innovation that has ever occurred. Gunpowder, for example, was used to build rockets and launch them and have pretty light shows. And they were, it was also used as a weapon to kill people. I mean, there's always been this good and bad thing between technologies. Computers, same thing. They can be used for good or bad. I guess the potential benefits are, is let's just talk about those first. And this is my feelings. An AGI-powered security system could analyze a lot of data very quickly from networks. It could look at user behaviors. It could, it could anticipate threats by applying threat intelligence at imag- unimaginable scale and speed. Some of the systems that NVIDIA talked about a few days ago are just mind-boggling on how how much computing power they have. And this could lead to the detection and prevention of even the most sophisticated cyber attacks, including those that exploit previously unknown vulnerabilities. So that part is a good thing. It also would offer proactive defense, like... Uh, an AGI, for example, could not only react to threats, but it could also predict and anticipate them. 
the, and alert human uh, operators that you have a potential here and to you need to address it or AI could address it for them. Uh, that part of it, I don't know. I, it's, I'm, I'm not ready quite to sit back in a rocking chair and just relegate all the decisions that are being made to AI. There's been a lot of movies about that. So, yeah, we already, we, we already know what some of those consequences could be. As a number of authors who wrote books throughout the 50s and 60s warned us about. This could definitely re revolutionize our security strategies. It would allow defenses to be prepared for novel attack methods and even before they become commonplace. Further, it could result in continuous improvement. An AGI security system could continuously learn and adapt and improve its effectiveness over time as it encounters new threats and attacker tactics. It It'll learn from those. It'll learn the patterns and try to try to intercept them as best it can. Let's flip the coin over. What are the challenges that we might see? Well, there's always unforeseen consequences. The complexity of AGI makes it difficult to predict all its potential actions and consequences. There's always a risk that AGI security systems could misinterpret data or develop unforeseen biases leading to unintended security vulnerabilities. I mean, yeah, we all saw war games, right? I mean, that was a training exercise that ended up out in the production network, and it was playing out a scenario of a, of a possible nuclear war, except it was actually trying to trigger one. The weaponization of AI, and AGI in particular, if that is malicious, and, in, and actors somehow gain access to that AGI technology, it could be used to launch devastating cyber attacks that would cripple critical infrastructure or steal vast amounts of sensitive data. Safeguarding AGI technology and ensuring its responsible development is going to be paramount. But OpenAI operates in an open source mode right now. And so, yeah, the genie may already be out of the bottle on that one. Ethical considerations and decisions on how to use AGI security systems raises, I think, significant ethical questions. Who controls it? What data does it have access to? How does it distinguish between legitimate activity and potential threats? Remember, you could generate an entire fake scenario that would make a AGI think it was under attack in a certain way. And while it was concentrating on that attack, you could hit them with another one. So clear guidelines and oversight will be crucial to ensure responsible use. Overall, the potential impact of AGI on cybersecurity is a, is a double-edged sword. While it definitely offers the potential for unprecedented security advancements, it has significant challenges and ethical considerations that need to be addressed. Bef and it's important to remember that these are hypothetical scenarios based on speculation about QSTAR because we don't have a full picture yet. Yeah, and there's a number of algorithms that they were talking about in that. Again, I'll put the links below. You can go look at those. What if the rumors are true and OpenAI has developed uh, AGI that QSTAR does achieve it in some fashion? What, what's the impact to us? Those of us that use Windows or Mac OS or Linux, what does that mean for us in the near future? I think that, you know, first of all, there's always this plus and minus thing between potential benefits and considerations. So let's talk about both of them. The first thing is that the benefit would be enhanced security software. Their cybersecurity components are already incorporating AI into their products. They're there are products from Darktrace. There's ones from Deep Impact that offer AI strategies for defense and detection. There, are, of course, a, the attackers are using AI. And as far back as 2020, in one case, AI was actually used to mimic. It learned and mimic the patterns of, of typical users 
that were on. This was a fairly large e-commerce site. And so it was able to fool the defenses into thinking, oh, this is just regular traffic, no big deal. And it actually got, it actually penetrated into the network and no one detected it for quite some time. So AI is already being used as an attack vector as well as in defense. That is nothing new, but AGI is. That would be an advancement that would lead to more effective security software and that software could better protect user devices from malware. These are the common ones that are occurring today. Malware, phishing attacks, email phishing, and other threats. Imagine, if you would, a, a smarter firewall or a smarter antivirus program that could adapt to new threats in real time. So as it sees it occurring and it matches and it learns about what to look for, Something's being modified in your file, in your system files. Something is being changed uh, in your network to allow access to things that, wow, this user shouldn't have access to. It could learn from that. Also, uh, you could, it might lead to automated security management. You know, there are a lot of complex security tasks like threat detection and vulnerability patching that we could automate with AGI. As the AI security evolves, it could become more transparent underneath the hood, at least. So users can understand the protections they have in place. And uh, the best thing is stay informed about what's going on. And the best practices are likely to be more important than the specific inner workings of some future AI security solution. Even even that is not going to be a panacea. I mean, there is there isn't a button you can push and go, "Oh, I'm cyber secure." And boy, if we could, that would be great. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. We know Chat GPT five is coming. We just don't know what it'll do. So, it, but we suspect it's probably going to have AGI in it. I tell you, there's been some experiences that I've had lately with Gemini that have been. Wait a minute. I mean, it actually was laughing at a joke and that I made about, you know, it, it drew a picture and it had six fingers. And I said, you really like six fingers, don't you? And it laughed and it came back and said, yeah, well, <laughs> these mistakes happen, which almost seemed like a human response to me. So it'd be interesting. to I mean, I know that some of these systems have passed the Turing test. So, yeah, they are getting really hard, uh, harder, not hard, but harder to uh, detect that they are AI. So, and, and I think that's going to continue. And I think that is really the problem that we're facing. Deep fakes on steroids. I mean, imagine if you had ChatGPT that was powered by QSTAR or some, uh, or some you know, AGI-based intelligence. You could generate just hyper-realistic phishing emails or now I'm not trying to give away ideas to cyber criminals here, but yeah, you could also you could also flood social media with messages that perfectly mimic the writing style and tone of your friends or family or colleagues. I could think of a couple of really good practical jokes to play, but you know, that's not going to be funny. So these messages could be used to trick users into revealing sensitive information or even clicking on malicious links. The other one is really insidious that I think uh, is, is a possibility. And that's, what if this was a personalized psychological attack? QSTAR's ability to analyze vast amounts of data could allow it to craft extremely persuasive messages tailored to a user's personality or their weakness or current events that are occurring in their lives. I mean, can you imagine how awful that might be? I can't say what those consequences are going to be because I don't know. But one thing is they would not be pleasant for the person re receiving them. AI security tools won't eliminate the need for human cybersecurity professionals, no. Their expertise in identifying risks, developing security strategies, and overseeing AI systems to make sure they don't start hallucinating and, and generating all kinds of weird stuff that isn't going to protect anybody from anything. 
I know many of you don't like AI, but listen, <clears throat> this is coming from someone that's lived through many technology changes in my lifetime. Failure to understand it relegates you to uselessness. So that's a warning uh, for your own career. So don't let it pass you by. Even if it doesn't matter if you like it or not. The best way to affect change is to be a part of it, not apart from it. So stay up with it. That's my advice. That's all I had for today. <laughs> Hope to see you in the next video. And bye for now.